Welcome to Dr. Nassar RC Strength and Conditioning Center here at the University of Texas. I'm Jeff Mad Dog, Madden Associate AD for Strength and Conditioning. I got my good friend here, my longtime warrior, Nate Vasher, eight year pro and a great Longhorn. Welcome back, Nate. What we're going to go through is we're going to let you know some of the things we do here at the University of Texas when we're talking about our NFL Pro Day. Nate, our next test is going to be the 20-yard shuttle. You got a right-handed foot touch, left-handed foot touch, and then straight through the center. Can you walk that off for him and let them see exactly what we're going to be doing? Sure. His crotch is going to be right down the center line. His hand is going to be right down the center line as well. Just go through slow. Turn, right hand and foot touch. He'll always be facing forward. Turn, left hand and foot touch. Running through, clock, stop, good job. He has to make sure he stays forward facing. If he turns to the rear, it's no good. If he doesn't touch with his hand and his foot, it's no good. Ready? Good. Good. All the way through. And the hand and the foot have to touch. Nate, when you go through this drill, what are they looking for and what are you thinking about? Yeah, for me, this is a big drill because it shows quickness and agility, change of direction. Some guys don't have a lot of short line, straight ahead speed, but they're more quicker than fast. And for some defenses, that helps out. And uh, you can just show you can change direction. Doesn't it show about the fluidity in your hip and how your hips move and you can turn and change and go exactly the opposite, cut down on the dime and then turn back around? Because in what you do, that's extremely important. That's true. What are you thinking on pro day when you get the opportunity to do your 225 bench for the scouts? Yeah, this is your opportunity to go out and show all the hard work that you put in during the off season. Mm -hmm. uh, that you just haven't been, you know, running and staying in good condition too, but do you have strength mm -hmm. and have you been putting in the hard work and dedication that it takes to get on and off of blocks, especially for offensive linemen, defensive linemen, they want to see how you can engage and disengage uh, and, and get off of blocks. And they want to know how hard you've been working and this, this is the test right here. Couple key pointers for Nate. He's gonna get his body up underneath him. He's gonna keep his points clear. He's gonna keep his feet planted in the ground. He's gonna keep a natural arc in his back. He's gonna keep his shoulder planted on the bench. Head's gonna stay in place right there. He's gonna get a firm, even grip for himself. Once he gets up there, he's gonna get ready to bench. Nate, he's gonna lock the weight out and he's gonna warm up. He's gonna be sitting down, backing up just like that. And what they want to see is how many times can he do that 225 pounds just like that. We use 225 pounds because this is the weight that the NFL has stated to be their number one precedent for every athlete across America. So they go across every university and they test every athlete a 225 pound rep. And me being the spotter, I'm an important person. Nick, it's time you show them what you got, Let's baby. Go. Let's go. Go to work. Got it? Go to work. There you go. Get him up. Six. Come on. Good job. Ten clean and easy reps for Nate. Good job, Nate. Now, Nate, we come to our last and final drill before we get ready to do our position-specific drill. Uh, this is our three-cone or pro-agility drill, whatever they want to call it. You know, it, it's a drill that shows agility and athleticism. You know, so you have to change directions. What do you, how do you feel going into this drill, Nate? Yeah, going into this one, uh, this one is a little bit different from the 20-yard the shuttle because it's more straight line. This one right here has some turns, some straight-ahead things and to be able to finish, you know, uh, coming around the curve. So it shows a, a lot of athletic ability and change of direction. So uh, you want to work hard at this, and then once you uh, perfect it, get a good time, you should be pleased with it. Yeah, and probably one of the hardest parts of this drill is when you have to hit that cone over there and loop back around. Right. Because all of a sudden, you got to stay so close to that cone without falling, without touching the ground, because if you touch the ground, it's no good. If you hit the cone, it's no good. And then you got to follow through and finish all the way through the last line. Good explosion. As well as you guys can see, he's an old pro at this. That's why he did such a tremendous job in the NFL, because it's difficult for bigger men and bigger guys with stiff hips and ankles to get around that cone, but Nate does it very easily. So Nate, being an eight-year pro, you know, being the one of the best in the business, you know, taking the uh, biggest kickoff return back for a touchdown, interception for a touchdown. I mean, you've done so many things in the NFL. What can you tell our guys, our young guys here at Texas, to pre help prepare them for this big day? Yeah, I, I would just tell them to come in and have a great time doing it. 
Um, you know, here at the University of Texas, we've been prepared day in and day out to uh, showcase our talent. We go out there and play with a whole bunch of confidence, and that's one thing that comes from being prepared. So, uh, you know, one, one day comes, and it's going to be one of the biggest interviews of your life. Uh, you're still going to just take it all in being one day because you still have to go to training camp. You still have to go through the draft process. And the important thing is uh, getting to that team and being the best that you can be. And that's the best thing here at the University of Texas. We have Coach Mac Brown as our head football coach. He goes out and hires the best football coaches he can find to bring here to the University of Texas to get the athletes prepared to be the best they can be. And that's why we're blessed and fortunate to have great guys like Nate come back yes, and show us love. So thank you very much. Welcome.